So we need to show that potential due to a dipole is P dot R divided by 4 pi epsilon R cube. And using this ex expression, we need to find the electric field due to a dipole as a function of R and theta. So let's say this is our dipole and at an angle theta, we have a point S which is at a distance R away. So we need to find the potential at S and prove that it is same as this. So if this is R, this distance from the positive Q, let's call it R plus and this distance, let's call it R minus. So if we drop a perpendicular from here, this is the difference between R minus and R plus. Right? And let the length between the charges be D. So now potential at this point we can write for each of the charges. So for plus Q it will be KQ by R plus plus K minus Q by R minus. So this is the total field due to the total potential due to the both charges. So we take, we solve this and R minus minus R plus which is this distance we can write as D cos theta. So this is also theta. So this is D cos theta. And R plus into R minus, we can assume it to be R square. So this, you can see this is QD, which is the dipole moment and cos theta, which is the angle between P and R. So we can write this QD cos theta as P dot R by R. So this becomes K P dot R by R cube. So once again, this is QD cos theta. So we can write this as QD cos theta into R divided by R. QD cos theta into R will be P dot R. And divide by R, so that R will add into this and this will become R cube. Or we can, in scalar form, we can write it like this. Now using this, so we have already proven this is the potential. Now using this, we need to find the electric field. So electric field is minus del dot V and del operator in polar form is dou by dou R, R cap plus 1 by R dou by dou theta theta cap. So we'll use this on our potential. So first term will be minus, yeah, minus dou by dou R of Kp cos theta by R square. This will be ER and E theta will be same thing for this side. So this will be too long an equation. So I just broke it into two parts. Otherwise, this is the part of the same equation. So total electric field is ER plus E theta is equal to minus dou by dou R KP cos theta by R square plus 1 by R dou by dou R theta KP cos theta by R square. There should be a minus sign also here. Yeah. So if you differentiate this, so Kp cos theta is constant with respect to R. So this will become 1 by R cube. So minus 1 by R cube minus will get cancelled into R cap. And for theta, Kp by R square is constant. So we'll take that out. And dou by dou theta of cos theta is minus sin theta. So minus minus will get cancelled. And we'll get Kp sin theta by R cube theta cap. So we have the field now in terms of r and theta and net field will be root of e r square plus e theta square which will be kp by r cube 1 plus 3 cos square theta.